Well, hello there, you great, magnificent people. How are you guys on this beautiful day? It's been raining all night. It's been raining all day. Little bud, though, he wants, he was dead set on getting out and doing a little bit of four wheeler and doing a little bit of mud. And so, I guess that's what we're doing today. Well, what he's doing today, because I'm not, I'm not digging the other four wheeler out and I'm not going out and ripping stuff up because I'm really just not in the mood to get muddy. Can't tell if there's a snack over there. Or Don't look the other side, Paige. Okay. Unhook it. Okay. Is there a snake? No, there's not a snake. I think it was dead. Even if it was a snake, I think it was dead. I think there was another one over there. I think it's right there. Well, Troy, go look at it. See if it's a snake. Okay. Come on, Troy. Well, I can't. Oh. Here. What are you looking at? Okay, so is that a stick? No, that's a stick. Stick? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? All the way over here. Well, now I'm scared. I don't want to get bit. I'm like, you need to be the way. What are you looking at? That. What? That. What? See the white strip on the ground? It's not a snake. That's the thing that goes across. Oh, it's fencing. There's a sign. <laughs> you could look at oh. it. You don't want to take the grass rat in. <laughs> I'm not expected to rain this much. Alright, bud. Have some fun. Now you're wondering, hey Schmidt, why aren't you taking that flatbed of yours and go ripping mud up and everything? We have to use this property still. I mean, to get down to the pond and everything, so we don't just rip the road up willy-nilly. We like to keep it to where it's somewhat smooth for when it does dry out, it's not all rutted up and rough to get down to. So, it's much easier just to go this route and not the other route. Let him run around with his four-wheeler that light thing's not going to rip much up. There is some mud holes he can go running through with the four-wheeler. And that, that'd be why. So here he comes now. He's going to get wet on this one. Well, he didn't go through the big mud. I thought he'd be going through that stuff right there. I'd watch out, Paige. Hey, Dad. Yeah. What if your dog is out? Are they? I don't know. I don't want to find out. Keep their out. Just keep going down. Turn around and come back. They aren't going to grab you. They aren't going to bite me? No, they can't catch you. Sure? Pretty sure. Triple sure? Man up. Found a nice walking trail. Okay. Oh, okay. Or driving trail. I mean, it's yeah, he could run up and down that if he wanted to. It's not muddy. No, it's nice. I didn't see one. I found owl poops too. Oh yeah. Yes. I bet if we picked them apart, we could find some bones. Growing up so much. Hey, I know the dogs are out there. Uh, the neighbor, the people who own the property right next door to this property have Their dogs. dogs. Are psycho. They're not psycho. They're just normal farm dogs. That's well, it. Millie doesn't like them. Well, Millie needs to get a hold of them. Then that'll get rid of them. I need to bring Jackson Opie out here, and I tell you what, we wouldn't have another issue with uh, farm dogs. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't go that way, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I need to tell him that's a little bit too much water. You about bogged her out. Hey, 
the reason your four wheeler started bogging out a little bit yeah. is because you're hitting the water too fast and it was forcing water up into the earth stuff that makes it shut off okay just hit it a little bit slower okay all right I'm, my boot is full of water okay well you we keep going as long as you want to you get cold you let me know uh, all right uh. all right now as for this hole that bud is using as a mudding hole or a water hole it doesn't go anywhere that, that that stays muddy all year round well if we're in a drought it doesn't but there's always water right here so he's not hurting anything actually he's opening it up a little bit more and letting the water finish its way on down to the pond so if anything he's helping it out grandpa I know what you're thinking You see his coat? His coat is sopping mud. Oh, Warden, I'm sorry. I truly am. Truly am, Warden. I love you. Just remember that. Oh, wait. You don't watch these. Never mind. What happens like, if I get into it? What? You're on your own. At night, they'll come eat me, but just I have to survive the, on my own. Just hit the red button and try not to shake too much. Okay, well, if, um, if I disappear into the forest yeah, and, cool. and some weird slendy creature comes and eats me, I'll be okay. All right. Okay, here I am. So here's my goal for today. To get lost. Never be found. I want to be a mountain woman living on my own some. Show myself to all these hooligans down there but don't tell them I told them that because that's not very nice be quite be quite a shame if that's an electric fence because that means I can't get over to that hill and I want to go over by the hill Woo! rotten tree branch see it's right there like, I don't know if y'all can see oh there's one right here I did not see that is it hooked up to anything? There's another post. What is that? Hey, let's go. Try not to die. I'm trying to balance and everybody in my family knows I suck at balancing, especially on wet, rotten tree trunks with... Rule number one, try not to fall so much. Oh, there's some um, deer poo. Wait, shh. Wonder if there's any deer beds out here. Grandpa took us out here once. Not this way, I was over there. Not tree line over there somewhere. Yeah, I was walking around in this valley. All those deers along this trail. You can kind of see it. Runs up. And then there's some deer poo right there. I think that's deer poo anyway. Let's go see if we can find any deer beds. Well, Brat Child has the other camera. I didn't trust her with my phone. So she's up there running around the timber right now. Up in there somewhere. I think I see her. There she is. Who knows what she's doing? I'm sure you guys will because she has the camera, like I said. It's for little bud, he's still having a little bit of fun here. Hold up. Let's see how muddy you are. Oh, mercy. Let me see your coat. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, bud. You are trashed, man. Okay, this is my first hill. Um, let's go up it. There's another one down there. There's a post right in front of us too. I see there. There's like an opening up there and I'm curious to see what it is. And I'm hoping, I don't know where the property line is. So I'm wherever the property line ends, I'm hoping they put up an actual fence. So you know, 
know when to stop so I don't get shot at. You wanna see this tree branch break? Watch. Oh, that was a satisfying crackle. Wait, do you guys want an ASMR nature? Okay, I don't have the mic. <gasps> Wait, if I don't have the mic, are you even picking up any noise? Am I just talking to nothing? Oh, what if I'm talking to nothing? Oh! Ah, wasn't rotten, but I broke it. I'm good at breaking stuff, including myself. I break myself all the time. Okay. I know I said I wanted to get lost, but what if I actually do get lost? I act all tough, but I'm actually very weak. But I am brave. That's something I have on my side. Oh, there's another little deer trail. Well, something other than humans have been here. Look at this. Do you think there was deers here? Well, duh, there was deers here. There's deer poop all over this trail I just followed. Pure craziness. I think crazy man's done. Just park at the bottom. Don't go up them. Uh, good? Yeah, you did good, man. You did good. That thing is muddy. What'd you think you're mudding today? It was fun. It was fun? You can come out and do it again sometime? Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> maybe next time it's over the pants, but... Yeah, maybe it's a snow pants or something. It'll yeah. be a little bit warmer next time, too, though. Mm. Yeah. Well, we've been out here for about an hour now, ripping things up. I think he's, uh, I think he's accomplished everything we set out here to accomplish. The, the, the four-wheeler is completely muddy. He's freezing cold. I'm kind of chilly myself. Tater tot's still up in the trees. Let's get this thing loaded up and start highballing it back into town. My dad's going. Without me. Wow, I came out here so I can mud. What's my father? It hasn't been very fun though. Well, it has been fun actually because I'm out here exploring the wilderness, but like, I haven't done any really real mudding. My brother's been the one mudding, but that's okay. I'll get my chance. Maybe not today, but I have a lot of life to live still. Respect the plants. I'm going to the road! Making my way to the road, walking slow, cause I don't feel like dying today. This is what I, I want to do this. I found places I didn't even know existed. See, look what our county did. This used to be a beautiful arch up there. They cut all the trees by the road down. Cut them all down. It used to be like a canopy of trees. The county is so, I'm coming to the road! so inconsiderate of the wildlife it's okay see look I want to show you how old this tree was you can tell how old they were by the amount of rings they had you look look at how many rings this tree had look how old it is it had to take decades for this tree to grow this big and they, they just cut it down at least I gave him good footage he better love me for this I get to drive it was a very lovely experience. I loved it. Was it? Yes. Okay. You'll see. It's all, all right. in the footage. It's all in the footage. Okay. Well, yeah, we're still recording. Hi. I'm betting here in a little bit. Well, I don't think I have to worry about making this video any longer because, well, flat out, I'm betting Tater Tuck took care of the whole talking part. Little bud got to do some mud and we're gonna go home and get the truck ready, which really is nothing big. Normal stuff you guys usually see. You guys keep yourself safe. As always, I'll see you next time. I can't tell if there's a snake over there. Or... Make a face your sister. I can't tell if there's a snake over there.